All right, we're back with, uh, let's call it part two, as we continue this, what is, looks like it's gonna be a fairly long discussion, but I'm gonna break it up into some smaller parts, component parts, and hopefully you'll then get a more complete picture of what's going on here with Next War Iran and the gameplay that I experienced with Ralph Shelton playing the tactical surprise scenario, just to recap from the uh, prior video, which will, hopefully have been called part one. Uh, I wanted to draw your attention to the yellow VP marker that's on 56 up at the top there. Uh, that is the, let's see, that's the VP level for the allies and the non-allied side, i.e. the PRC and the Iranians is at uh, 71. So we've got roughly a 20, 20, uh, sorry, 77. So we've got a 20, less than 30 point uh, delta there. What does it say, 56 to 77? So yeah, so uh, less than 30 points uh, delta there uh, at the start of the game. So I felt very uncomfortable with that large a gap knowing how difficult it is to acquire VPs. And perhaps now is a great time for us to sort of switch over to the map and have a look at the map and discuss some of the VP locations and the map in general, so you get a feel for it as we uh, as we dig into this. And I start talking about different sections of the map and and whatnot. You might you'll be able to hopefully follow along. So starting in the down the bottom here, so here, right in the, in the Indian Ocean. I'm going to zoom in on that a little bit. Hopefully, and hopefully this is uh, somewhat whoops, somewhat legible. I'm going to scroll across a little bit for us. So all of the naval forces will start out in the Diego Garcia box. You, uh, the U.S. starts, I think, with uh, three carriers and a couple of amphibs and a, a surface action group. And uh, obviously, you can move into the Indian Ocean and then into the Gulf of Oman. And the Iranians have these uh, this concept of patrol boats, which are basically, you know, a lot of uh, annoying little gnats that will drift around and cause problems for you when you're trying to make moves from, say, the Gulf of Oman to the inshore boxes, right? Uh, and so there's a contested sea move role that will occur, and this will apply. This will apply a DRM. So there'll be a marker put here. Uh, you have the opportunity to reduce it via airstrikes, which is always fun. Uh, using naval uh, aircraft will provide you with some positive DRMs. <clears throat> okay. In our game, the Armanis gave us uh, airfield. Did they give us airfield rights or did they not? I think they did. I can't remember now. That's pretty, that's a shame. I'll have to check that. Uh, we'll actually, we'll see it in the pictures in a second. And, and then, so so this this forms, there's a break here, right? Straits of Hormuz. Uh, so this area is relatively easy to take control of. Getting into this area here is a challenge just because you've got these two islands which are gonna be occupied by Iranian forces and there are oil facilities, port facilities here. Uh, which will accrue VPs every turn for uh, the, the non-allied side. And what's interesting about that is that I think that, and this will change a little bit because we, we went, when we played, we realized there were some uh, perhaps non-authentic mechanisms that the U.S. could apply to remove the opportunity for the, the non-allied side to acquire VP. So the VP accumulation for these facilities will be different than what we played with. And so I won't go into them too much. Suffice to say that there's an accumulation per turn for the non-allied side. Uh, then here are our UAE, Saudi and Qatari uh, boxes uh, for aircraft and troops as they need be. And also for my, uh, my forces can launch out of there. And you can see this, these arrows these guys and then these arrows will allow us to do uh you know mobile transport into these islands you can't para drop in there because they're too small but you can certainly uh helo units in uh for uh, uh an invasion of whatever the case whatever the case may be and so that that became this became a pretty deadly fighting area you can see that there's a pretty harsh modifier to try and get into this area and also another patrol boat uh, zone 
which can cause problems as well. So that's all pretty interesting. So there's some VPs to be had there and some things to be thought about in terms of attacking into this area. And what happens is uh, there are 10 uh, SSM sites that can be placed all around and obviously putting them in mountain hexes is best because they're very difficult A to detect and B to hit uh, if units are in those locations. So there are 10, uh, let's see, 10 SSM sites and 10 dummy sites. So very, very much similar to the India-Pakistan module where you had there's one, uh, what's it called now? I can't remember the name of the scenario now. Going for broke or all in or something like that. Uh, it, it's a, you had to go find the nuke sites and uh, disable them or uh, capture them uh, before the before the bad guys blew them up, right? Uh, in, yeah, you had to go into Pakistan and do that. Uh, and Indians and the US uh, forces uh, fight against the PRC and the, the Paki's doing that. So, uh, so we, uh, we have a similar situation but much, much more difficult terrain to execute that in. And uh, also, of course, there's ports here that you will need to potentially acquire if you want to have supply. Uh, you may have a beachhead as well. These lighter blue hexes are uh, landing zones where you can land. There's another port over there. Uh, there's a port here. There's no port at the moment. There is no port deep inside the Persian Gulf here for the US if they wanted to land in this area and potentially take out any of the SSM sites that might be over there, right? So that may change as well, but who knows? So let's see. So uh, what I wanted to show you there was the where all these old, and so these are obviously all worth a VP killing. Here's a, here's a VP list here, rather than me guessing. <laughs> Let's have a quick look, and we're at uh, seven minutes, so I'm going to try and wrap this up in a second for being a VP discussion. We can see the different VPs that are available here, and here's another interesting thing that will occur as you look at those. I'm assuming you can see them okay. I'm going to come in a little bit closer for you. All right, I'll leave that there for a second, but maybe pause the video if you want to see in more detail. I'm going to scroll over here to the weather. No, I'm not. I'm going to go up here to the weather as I zoom out again. The so an interesting difference to most uh, most scenarios, uh, most games in this series. The defender, who is actually the the agitator in this war, uh, gets to choose the weather. Uh, so it'll, uh, your best bet as Iranians is to choose the wet season because that will allow you to get uh, storms on a more regular basis. And even overcast is going to have a, a significant negative effect upon the uh, upon the air war that goes on and for detection and other stuff like that. So anyway, that that's kind of that. Let's see. This is where the, you see we chose the wet season and the game actually started out uh, with the overcast, which was quite a challenge for us. And here you can see these, oh, I can't click this. Uh, you can see these, I've uh, spotted a SSM site here and here, but not that one. And we did spot that one. So we had some very lucky rolls uh, at the outset uh, on the Straits of, uh, well, this is called the Gulf of Oman. Uh, we, were, we were spotting pretty aggressively there with our special forces, although we did lose a number of special forces in the opening turn. So was, uh, there we go. So I lost two to start with. Uh, we've got the Israelis in there, three, I think three Americans and a, uh, I think it's a, uh, not a Saudi, it's a UAE perhaps and a uh, French or British uh, one as well. Uh, so I'm going to stop here and then we're going to get into the gameplay and we'll we'll talk a little bit more about uh, the, the actual gameplay and any of the mechanics that popped up that were interest, interesting and or different.